Hello and welcome to Gabe's Games. Thank you so much for coming to see me play some Warframe today. This game is not talked about nearly enough. Warframe is the best free to play game I have ever played in my entire life. This game is amazing. And it's free! I cannot believe that this game is free. There is so much quality in this game. The graphics in this free to play game are stunning. They are incredible. And I'm not too sure what this game looked like when it was first released many years ago, but it's a really pretty looking game for starters. It looks fantastic. And I've actually just downloaded it on my PC. Right now I'm playing my PS4, so I've just had a crack at it on the PC and I was immediately impressed. I'm so impressed. And to all you Warframe players who've been playing this game out there for years, good on you. You made a really good choice and I wish that I'd actually played this years ago. And I feel like I'm really playing catch up on all of the good games that I missed and that I wish that I'd actually played a long time ago. And Warframe is in my inclusion of good games to play. I am very impressed with this game. So now let me try and explain why. When I'd had Warframe previously explained to me, I'd had words like shooter, loot, and grindy used to actually describe this game. And so I just didn't understand why it was necessarily good. I'd heard of it, but I just hadn't touched it because I just really hadn't been as adventurous with my choice of gaming at that point. And then I played it, and it is the combat and the feel of this game that makes it incredible that the grinding doesn't matter because you feel awesome and overpowered to play. I cannot believe how good this feels to play. It's like a mixture of Assassin's Creed, Halo, and Samurai Jack. It is such a good mixture of combat. You can play with a sword, shooting and dashing, and then using magic powers to slam into the ground. It is unbelievably cool to play. And the best part is, is that this game and its unique combat system, which is definitely worth checking out, is free! I cannot believe that this game is free. It is the best free-to-play game I have ever played. It looks stunning. It looks as good as AAA games. And it's not costing you a dollar. Also, this is my first time playing Warframe on the PS4, and my second time playing Warframe ever. So for advanced Warframe players out there, please excuse the noobness that you're about to see. I'm just figuring out this game and how it works, but my impressions of it so far on the PC have been incredible, and I cannot wait to play more. Also, advanced Warframe players out there, please feel free to give me advice and tips on how to level up and grind so that I actually get all the gear that I'd like. I'd really appreciate that if you can. Also, if you'd like me to continue this series, please smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll continue to upload content from Warframe and playing with you and other people. Also, I can't wait to learn more about the Tenno, how they exist and why, who created them, why did they leave, what was the old war, like all of these really cool lore questions that you'll see in a minute. I'll just be quiet for a second because I think we're about to move into a different section of either loading screens or a cinematic, we'll see, but I'll just let it load for a minute. Again, this game should be in the spotlight. This should be talked about as much as Destiny, Destiny 2, and all those other fantastic games out there. Also, in the best possible way, this artwork reminds me of Mass Effect. Mass Effect 1 and 2 vibes is what I'm getting. Alright, welcome to our Warframe loading screen. Another one. I'm going to click accept and see how we go. I do accept the terms and conditions. I have to admit, I just wish that when you actually played on a console, that somehow the PS3, PS4, or Xbox just managed to actually outfit itself automatically to the screen fitting so that you didn't have to do this every single time because it can become a bit repetitive it's like surely we have the technology to be able to actually get a screen to auto detect what it should be displaying
Excellent, okay, so we've reached the next loading screen. I don't like loading screens generally, but if a loading screen fits in with the theme of the game, that tends to be really good. Okay, this is the opening cinematic. I'll let it play. For generations you've slept. No purpose, no call to wake you. But now, something has risen from the ruins of the old war. The twin queens, the sisters, have sent their most beloved commander, Four, on an urgent mission. To protect the twisted crusade they have begun. To transform the scattered colonies into an empire. To see that the Tenno, hidden and asleep, will never awake. Very good court. Okay, I'm getting strong Mass Effect vibes from this game, and that's a good thing. Also, I reckon I'll go as Excalibur, because when you're starting a new game, it makes sense to start as something that's just really accessible for you, they can really just do easily. And Excalibur seems that. Slash and Dash also appears to be my jam. That thing takes way too long to get off you. No. We are taking this one with us. What has he done to you? I can't lose another Tenno. I am surging into Warframe's power systems. <laughs> Damn, that feels cool. This game does a really good job of Use grinding you in the moment, making you feel epic. Ah oh, man, look at this combat! Oh, that's sick! It just feels so good! It's incredible! You're just slashing and killing everybody like that is awesome! This is immediately up there with one of my favorite combat systems of all time. It just feels so fresh. An extraction ship is on its way, but the Grenier will be hunting you. Arm yourself. I am a samurai today, although I haven't got Ghost of Tsushima yet. Maybe sometime soon. But this game is free! Oh, I love cutting them into little bits. It's just so cool to slash them into little pieces. Alright, first melee part done. Let's go on to the next part. We're going to continue this way. I wonder if we're going to get another weapon. Because this sword seems to be really wicked. Sweet! So, I've actually just got to choose a pistol, hands down, because although I feel like a little bit like a samurai, I just feel like I know how to use a pistol a little bit more. <laughs> and I'm still a noob to this game, but I'll get the hang of it with practice and get everything done, Pat. Time to slice and dice you! Oh man, I love doing flips! 
I love doing flips in real life, I love doing flips here. It's just so satisfying. That's so cool. Salvage team, why have you not reported in? Also, if you ever wanted to be a Jedi, without Jedi powers, this is literally it. Just love how he deflects stuff with his sword. Reminds me of Kirito from Sword Art Online. Again, this game is actually so pretty, I've never seen a free-to-play game which looks like this! Gee, it's really cool to slide! The extraction ship. Wow, that golden orb weapon that he has in his hand is way OP. You're not ready to face war now. Use your melee weapon to block the beam and get inside. Okay, fair enough. You say I'm not ready. And I believe you, seeing as how strong he was with that golden orb weapon. But let me just see if I can take him on real quick. Yeah, nah, your logic stands up. Let's get out of here. My decrepit heart is pounding. This one is stronger than the rest. Lock the area down. This tenno is mine. My decrepit heart is pounding. Cool line. Also, it's so cool to actually just slide and kill people. Do that, and I will guide you to your old ship. It's your only chance. The queens want to destroy you. But I need to know more. Interesting, okay, why do the Queens want to destroy us? What do we ever do? Or do we just represent a threat? Also, why are we a stronger tenor than most tenor? <laughs> I feel like I should be able to get up this ladder. But I think I'll just get... Yeah, I'm stuck. Okay, cool. Let's just wander around for a little bit, then figure out how to get out. That's a cool slide. So smooth. Such smooth gameplay. That's just wicked. I've got to admit, I'm really curious as to the origin of the Grevier. How they come about and who created them. And I think that lady was just telling us to get out of here, which makes sense. And as we're being attacked by Vor and his lightning attack, that's not good. So let's get out of here. Ah oh man, a direct hit. It's actually really pretty too. Get out of there, Tenno. You will have to face Boar another time. When you're okay, I there. agree with that. He seems way too powerful to take on right now. We're near, my sons. Prepare the reinforcements. We need that Tenno. Okay, cool. So the Grimia are his sons. Okay, do they just like DNA replicate him? Do they kind of do like a, a Boba Fett for all of the clones? Also, I'm not doing too bad at the combat, but I am going to get better, and this is probably me at my most noobish playing Warframe, because this is literally my first time playing on the PS4. So, watch as I get better at that practice. A tenno flows like fire over the battle terrain. Do you remember how to die? Okay, now that is just way too cool. I'm a big fan of how this feels to play. We're gonna slide, get some supplies. Ha, <laughs> unbelievably smooth. Also, I reckon I'm gonna go with the machine gun. Always good, safe bet. Can I stealth kill this guy? I'm not sure what Var has done to your Warframe, but we cannot remove it now. Just keep going. Your ship is up ahead. That was really satisfying. Using the dash and slash is awesome. Also, I feel like they actually did realistic mocap for the guy who's walking as my tenor because he just looks so real. There it is, your ship. Hurry, Vor's reinforcements must be on their way. Just really realistic running and moving, and the way that he moves feels like they mo a Your real person. Is a versatile tool. Use it to breach this panel and restart the ship. 
<laughs> yeah, so didn't you know what your Parazon did? He clearly didn't read the How to Play Warframe handbook. This is interesting. Stop touching me, you. What? Are my senses deceiving me? Operator, is that you? Yes, it is. Nice to see you. Reinforcements are here. Ship Cephalon, we require immediate extraction. Sweet! I've clearly gone the wrong way. Let's head back. I need a few moments to cycle the engines. Tendo, are you afraid? You cannot hide from me, old eyes. I've marked you. You will return to me. You are surrounded by Grenier Marines. I'm actually thinking Vaughn's a bad guy. That's really cool. You cannot hide from these old eyes. Man, this just gives me, like, lightning zombies up in a row and shooting them vibes. Oh, I was enjoying that so much. All right, mission accomplished. There you go. That feels really, really cool. The combat is great. The graphics are awesome and it's free. I cannot believe this game is free to play. Apparently Destiny 2 is also free to play at the moment, but I don't think Destiny 2 was always free to play. So this game has my vote of just being awesome because it was free from the start. I have to admit though, Destiny actually does look like it's getting really, really good. Uh, except for when they killed off Cade. Cade was just the best. Love Cade. Alright, I think it's going to load us to the next scene. It's going to happen. Hunter, you exceed expectations. You are far more exciting and complex than any specimen in my sanctuary. Huh, I like being called a specimen. Interesting choice of word. It's so easy to understand why this game is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with AAA games. It's so good. The combat is so fresh. You have returned. I am Ordis, ship Cephalon, a shadow of my former self. I cannot serve the operator in such a condition. Order me to self-destruct. I will understand. Ah, no, but it's alright. You don't need to self-destruct. ravenous for this old technology. It is superior to theirs. Perhaps there are systems left in the orbiter compartment? Sweet, well guess we better check out the orbiter compartment. Look at this mess. Those savages. Components have been removed. The lower orbiter compartments have no life support. Why did the operator abandon me? Oh, I didn't mean to, buddy. I just started the game. Arsenal management could be restored if the operator wishes it. Hell yes, the operator wishes it. That does feel pretty cool. You honor Ordis. Now I can supply the operator with better modded than firepower. Oh, the violation. Those have been looted as well. <laughs> Sounds like he is a neat freak about his workspace. What Captain Vor has done to you and stop him, but we'll need help. I found a communication segment we might salvage for your ship. When you are ready, activate your navigation system. Ordis hopes the operator will punish the Grenier for dismantling it. Sweet, so this is where you can actually talk to other players. And I'm really curious as to how this game actually works. Can you invite people to your matches? Can other people invite you to theirs? And yeah, I'm just really curious to see how this goes. Also, experienced Warframe players, please. Feel free to add me to things and tell me what I can do, what you'd like to see me do as a content creator on this game. Please give me advice and help me actually become a better player. I'm really, really curious to meet and greet and meet you and see how we can actually play. Just, yeah, let me know. Invite me to things. Please make me feel a part of your community. And it would be awesome to meet and greet all of you. So I've just basically typed in a message into the chat to see what it's like. I'm introducing myself as Gabe's Games, just saying that I'm new and keen to meet and greet. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Considering the emojis, but not really sure if I want to send them over. I think I'll just stick with the message over here and see if anybody gets back to me. I reckon the community is pretty cool from what I hear like I feel like this is a really good place to meet other gamers 
Places I hear rumors of that can be slightly more intense in terms of like other players and toxic kind of banter between players. League of Legends. I hear that that is intense. Still not a bad game though. I just have had friends tell me that it escalates hugely. Whoa, so this is where we can choose our missions from. That's one planet? Look how many different missions they got in this one. Oh my goodness, so there must be a whole bunch of planets. Kind of like how you're in the Normandy in Mass Effect and you just kind of choose your different missions. Speaking of, in Mass Effect 3 I always got lost in trying to find the Reaper missions. Like Mass Effect 2 was just a lot easier to find the side missions. Mass Effect 3 was just a bit confusing. Whoa, there's really a lot to choose from here, hey! Cool, well, I'm looking forward to actually choosing one or two side quests and missions to go and just level up in. That looks exactly like a Reaper! So there's a whole bunch of content in this game to actually access, and that's incredible! I really like that. And I can't wait to actually spend time and hours just getting into the different missions and the different worlds that we have here to access. Some games give you a lot of different content, but it's not that much fun to play as in comparison. For example, I would way prefer to play this. Combat-wise, then The Witcher, just because I really enjoy The Witcher, but I find that Geralt is a little more, like, stilted in his movement, and that this game has so much freedom that you can explore in how you actually do your combat. Therefore, that's cool. Also, we got an invite! Look at that, what a friendly community. Literally, like, within three to four minutes of actually having just posted on the chat. I just got an invite to a game. That's awesome. Reasons you should play this game. The community seems really lovely. The combat is awesome because it reminds me of Assassin's Creed mixed with Samurai Jack mixed with Halo. And it's free! So I had to play send me a message saying, what's up? So I responded with a message saying, what's up? See if it comes up. Or rather just sup. Okay, cool. Maybe I'll come and see whoever invited me on that or group chats ship sweet so another invite let's go and join them When you are ready, proceed to the navigation console. Oh, okay, cool. I'm in a ship. But I don't think I'm in my ship. I think I'm in somebody else's ship. Let me just go have a wander around. Yes, I'm in somebody else's ship. Oh, cool. So let me just wander around, see what the ship's like, and maybe we'll go on a mission together. Or maybe we need a certain number of people to actually launch a mission, and we're just in a lobby waiting. Nah, oh, man, that doggo is so cute. Just showing off this guy's doggo. I can't wait to get my own, that's gonna be awesome. What a nice place we have here. Nice, buddy, good work. I really can't wait to start building my own place as well. And I love what this guy's done with his actual just room and his dog is awesome and I just can't wait to see how I can actually emulate that in my own room. Ooh, really lovely place. I like it. I'm curious. I just want to see what's in the back now. <laughs> Check that out. That's awesome. I want to figure out how I can grow my own version of that. That's really, really cool. So I suppose now I'm just really curious to see what's going to happen next or for somebody to launch a mission and to get us going. I 
haven't necessarily done a whole bunch of this game yet, so I don't know how it works, but I'm curious to see what's going to happen next. I think he might be actually trying to choose a submission. Not sure. But I'm just going to wait around a second, see what happens, and uh, maybe we'll go on a fight or something. Or maybe I need to join him. I don't really know. I'm just going to wait around and see if it automatically sends us an admission. Also, I just let this guy know that I liked his pet. Okay, damn. So apparently I need a conclave loadout, which I don't have, so that's not good. No conclave loadout had with me at the moment, so can't do that apparently. If you guys know how to actually get a conclave loadout, please let me know so I can actually get one and go and play with other players. So now we're back home! Alright, well, that was interesting. Chermo couldn't join him for the rest of that match. I'm just going to check some settings really quick. Now look at that, I got another invite straight away. This community is awesome. I shall try and join this match. Ah, damn, another Conclave loadout is required, so I don't have that at this point, so I think that they assumed that I was either more leveled up or more specced up or something, because I just don't have what I need right now. Sorry, players who invited me on those matches, they sounded awesome, wish I could have joined you. Shame, don't know what happened there. I'll have to figure out a way around it. And thank you so much for the invite. So this is where you buy all of your upgrades in the game. I really just want the Dariga. That looks really, really cool. Although I'll have a look at everything. I don't quite know where to farm for supplies yet. So if you guys know any suggestions as to where I should go to actually get supplies in this game, please let me know because I really want to upgrade myself. Just scrolling through, having a look at all my supplies. Alright, I think I'll finish this video here. Nice to meet you Warframe community, thank you so much for the invites, that's awesome. Thank you all guys so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see me continue this particular series, please smash that like and subscribe button. I'd love to play some more, just let me know. And thanks for watching.